Yikes. The the tweets about Louis. Yes, yes. That was it, it, Who? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Louis Cat? Can you I, I literally yeah. didn't know about it until the next day because yeah. I've taken Twitter off my phone and yes, I, I me saw too. one. Have you? Were you getting flagged for that, or can you, what, can you walk us through, like just what was the, what happened there with your with your your thinking? Was it? Well, I think we all want Louis to talk about what he's going through in a way that uh, is, you know, inward searching, lets us know what he makes of it all, because there's so much to say about it, and that's you know when someone says, "I'm going to go away and try to think about this," I didn't look at it in the right way before. So when they return and they don't say a word about it, that's kind of weird because that's what we were hoping that you would do is say, hey, I kind of get it now. I'm trying to do right by these people. I'm trying to evolve as a person. So he's not saying that at all. Mm -hmm. He's just punching down at you know kids who got shot at or whose friends died. And you go, what, what's really your, what's your angle here if you're making fun of trans people? And I just thought to myself, I know we all talk about everything. You do it all the time. I've never watched you and thought like, oh God, you know. But if you're the guy trying to say to the you world, the I hurt people <laughs> and I, I get it. I get it. Your comeback material shouldn't be mocking kids whose friends were murdered. Well, can I ask you though, I, I understand. Do you think, and this is just yeah. a question, that as performers, as comedians, yeah. we're working stuff out. Punching up, punching down. I mean, everyone punches down once in a while. Carlin did it with, you know, anorexia, rich cunts don't want to eat fucking. But isn't like... it just the context? I think what he's saying is, like, it's a heartbreaker when one of the best comedians that ever lived came back from this tragedy, and instead of addressing it like Pryor did when he lit himself on fire, he just came back and was like, okay, nothing's changed. We're like, motherfucker, things but I... have to change. You have to show us change. It's not just important for you, it's important for everybody that's watching. There's a lot of scumbags out there that could be redeemed and- have... But that's not his job as a comedian. His job as a comedian is, again, I know what you're saying, yeah. but that's not our job I as comedians. We sort don't have... of, I think you sort of lose that pass if you if you do atrocious things. I don't even like think that. you. I don't even think you need a pass. Pryor didn't lose the pass. Pryor fucking pulled a gun on his wife. He didn't lose the pass. I, he I talked don't... about. I mean, at least he, he did found a way to yet. talk about it with humility. But what I'm saying is, Louis is working out a bit, and I might even say it was an it's, offense. The bit is evidence that he's not taking the time to reflect. Isn't that, that heartbreaking? I, I'm not. Look, I Jim, don't even agree with that. I'm w mm. with you that that he can talk about whatever he wants. Let's sure. not take anybody's card away. So. That's not, yeah. let's not be unclear about that. I'm just saying when something like this happens, especially if this didn't happen to Louis, like let's say it was another comedian, I would be like, what's Louis going to say about it? Mm -hmm. I would look to Louis to laugh, to heal, and to find some catharsis through him. And he's acting like it didn't happen. Maybe, but Louis, maybe that's just the decision. Whatever reason he's making that decision, I might handle it differently or you might handle it differently, but he's handling it like that. But does that make him... Like less than because he's doing a bit that is offensive. Like it's, it, was, hold on, it was, an, it was an offensive. His not job is not to teach a lesson. His job is yeah, to go up and be funny. Our job is not to have a higher motive behind a joke. We can. We all looked up to him. He inspired us. He pushed us to work harder. He pushed us to think deeper. He represented something to people. And so when you come back from hurting people and what you're talking about on stage just hurts other people, we're allowed to say publicly, Oh, he's still hurting This people. is kind of fucked up. How come like, no we're one allowed said to, We're allowed to, I mean, he doesn't have a right to not be criticized. It's no. not like he's in a bubble and we're supposed to be secretive about his act. He's on a public stage. He's getting paid. And so the, the opposite could be that you go, go, well, I'm just not going to say anything, but somewhere out there, and I know this is something that like a lot of comedians don't care about somewhere out there, there are kids whose friends are dead and they're trying to get over it. And this guy, they probably used to really look up to is shitting on them saying, you're not interesting. But that's, and it's helpful to them for someone to go, you know what? Fuck that. I don't agree with what he's saying. There's nothing wrong with saying that. Louis should keep working on his act. But that crowd is kissing his ass so hard. And so much of that material is so weak and from such a demented point of view that why shouldn't he hear from certain people like, hey, Louis, you're kind of out of tune right now. And maybe it helps Louis for somebody other than that kiss ass crowd to go, 
Wait, this is why are they a kiss ass crowd though? If they were just laughing at what they thought, like hold on, th- th- he took something that was, he took the angle of being obnoxious. Louis absurdist. Every the real point a guy is making, and again, I mm-hmm. haven't talked to him about this. Is hey, these guys were in this strategy, but why does that make them qualified to speak for us? That's a point of view that people do have, whether it's nice or not. He takes it to whatever degree and is vicious about it. He takes the mean angle on it because when I, you find out that Michael Jackson. Uh, molest children, suddenly pretty young thing means something different. I feel that you can't discuss them. I'm not saying that. I had nothing against people who were offended by it or who thought the bit stuck. Of course, it's all fair. But as comics, to look at a comic working a bit out and act like we don't know what they're doing. Like a lot of times you work through different angles of a bit. This is not a finished piece you put out. You're you're not thinking about the other part of it. And this is because, uh, you know, you you may not tuned into it. I've done these benefits with shooting victims, right? So I've sat with like a parent who's like, my kid is dead. And she tells me the story about how her kid got shot for trying to you know, save uh, his girlfriend. And I've met a lot of people who got over getting shot in Vegas and in all, in all these places. I've looked into their eyes. And so it's not abstract. You're talking comedy theory. There are people, this isn't like a, uh, you, you know, like a vague uh, joke. He's talking about people whose names we know. We know Cameron and David and Emma. We know who they are. So give them a fucking break. At some point I choose being a human being over like, comedy theory we could talk about everything we're working on shit so, maybe tomorrow the bit will get better that's fine but those kids are reading all about this guy they probably looked up to shitting on them sure, and but so that's someone not should his go, responsibility you know what? i got your your back on this i i i want you guys to get better i don't give a fuck about louis so what other I, jokes should people like this now you're getting into an area of because there are of course it was a real tragedy no one's denying it was horrible or that it, it was it was disgusting what happened yeah. or the gun violence yeah that's all very accurate but I know people that have put guns in their own mouths. I, so should I not make fun of suicide? I actually don't think it's but about... what would you be your point of making fun of suicide? If you, if you came because... at it from an angle of like, you're just weak, yeah, it might be fucked up. And someone might go like, yeah, that's a terrible joke. And why can't someone tell you it's a terrible joke? They can joke? T- say it's a terrible joke. But it's the idea that, well, this is a real tragedy. So he shouldn't be working it. Like, maybe that's not the final angle he will settle on. I don't know. But those kids don't know that. It's out there, So right? when you do a joke, you're only worried about the people who might be affected by the joke. Well, I mean, that, should, that narrows our corridor okay, a lot. But should I tweet, hey, guys, I think Louis going to adjust his angle, so don't worry about the fact that even though you almost no, died, but, he says you're uninterested. No, 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 but let me ask you. When you do a movie, and I know you yeah. improv a lot in film, you, you mm-hmm. like, which is great because yeah. you allow people to improv. Sure. Would you want all of those dailies released as the finished product? Like, for instance, I'm sure people have said things, whether it was on the set or in a film, improv because you allow that, that were tasteless or that were rude or that didn't work in the scene. Would you want all that to come out and have your final product judged on these moments that may or may not have made the final cut? This is a, a work in I progress. This is, I know, but you could say that forever. We all work on our acts for a decade, but he is in a public place. He is being but paid. But that's why I don't think it's about the material. But it was illegally I, uploaded. It, should, it was not meant to be to be for public. I, it was meant for that audience. I, I agree with what you're saying, and I, I think one of the things that's important about standup is I if I if you did that joke, I don't think it would be as big of a story. You know what I'm saying? What we're dealing with, and you're right, it's not his job. But whether or not he likes it, he's sort of representing something. How are men going to respond to the Me Too movement? How are they going to respond when they were, you know? caught or confessed to doing something. And a lot of people are picking up messages on that, whether or not it's his job and whether or not he likes it. So I think what you're hearing is some of the disappointment that the hilarious, unbelievable comedian Louie, when it happened, when it came out, I was like, in a year, he's going to get on stage yeah. and he's going to blow us away. And instead he's doing this. If Rock did that joke, I'd be like, yeah, I'd be here screaming red in the face like it's his right. You're absolutely right. I've said things riffing in Judd's show where I'm like, don't release that. And it was fucked up that somebody did release this. And it's a violation of the artistic contract. I understand that. I'm just saying whether he likes it or not, what's egregious to me and worth discussing is how Louis, as a representation of the whole thing, is not using it as opportunity for healing so and you're redemption. Saying that he's I just, understand he doesn't have to. No, you can say that all day. He's just a comic who fucked up. He's just a comedian who fucked up. I'm not saying it was right or not in poor taste or that he should have done that, but people are acting like he has this responsibility. I'm not acting. I'm wishing he would look at it like a responsibility. But people aren't. People aren't. He doesn't have to. You're right. He can be an asshole if he wants to. But he's I, always taken that angle as a comic. That's what I'm I saying. It's not. This is not new for him change. as a comedian. That's what I'm saying about Uber. Your I think policies what, I think change. What, 